Hello, this is Veteran0121, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. And in between the last episode and now, I got another return sphere, and I gave First Strike to Orin as well. That way, if I'm ambushed, I can also get Guard off. That way, he can take damage if there's enemies that use physical attacks. And, uh, yeah, that should be useful along with Titus with his First Strike as well. And, uh, with Riku, I actually, um... Cave, uh, well actually it takes like five or six chocobo feathers, you use it on, an, on a weapon there and you get the initiative ability so hopefully that should help with preemptive strikes and preventing some ambushes too because yeah that's pretty annoying in this game and I uh, yeah okay I gave Lulu a kind of a protection bangle here I it had sleep board on it but I gave her silence proof and stone proof just in case she happens to be in the battle and yeah, I gave Waka Confuse Ward because, honestly, if he gets confused and starts doing physical attacks, he has high accuracy. And uh, if he starts killing party members, that would be bad. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, with Kamari, yeah, I just kept his red arm only because that's not bad and I don't have anything better. And with Yuna here, I gave her s Silence Proof. I don't know, eventually I'll probably give her Stone Proof, but not right now. Or actually, I have Stone Ward on there, so that's good enough, I guess, until I find something better for that armor. I don't know what I'm going to put on there yet. Really don't know, but anyways. Oh, yeah, and before I forget, one more thing. Uh, yeah, while I was playing Bit Blitzball, I got the Status Reels Overdrive for Waka. So I, I think there's one more Overdrive that he gets, and then after that, you get his uh, Sigil for his uh, Ultimate Weapon. So... Let's let's get moving here. <laughs> Ugh, damn lightning. Right out of the menu, you get struck by lightning. Oh yes, and there's one thing I forgot to mention. Instead of getting poison proof on this bracer here, I gave Orin auto protect because, well, more often than not, auto protect right now is going to be more useful than uh, poison proof because not all enemies can inflict poison on you, obviously. Um, that being said, um, yeah, well, I did get, along with giving Orin poison proof I did get a whole bunch of light curtains so I will be saving those for later so yeah I farm for a whole shit ton of those so uh yeah yeah set up pretty good so let's keep moving here alrighty and looks like we're almost to a save point and we are almost to the save point now and what could he do And looks like there's a gazebo over this way. Ah. Alright, we're almost there. For a cutscene. Everyone. Wait. What's up? I have something to tell you. Here? We're almost out of here. Let's go! <laughs> I have to say it now. Over there. Yeah, let's get out of the rain. Jeez. Getting soaking wet here. Somehow, my bad feelings always come true. I've decided to marry. I thought so. Are you kidding me, Yuna? But why? Why'd you change your mind? For Spira's future and Yevon's unity. I thought it would be the best thing to do. That's not good enough. Wait, is it? Is it because of Lord Jiskel? Hey, that's fear. Show me. 
I can't. I must speak to Maester Seymour first. I truly am sorry, but hmm. this is... It is a personal matter. You're kidding, huh? As you wish. I'm sorry. Just one thing. Uh, I won't quit my pilgrimage. Then it is fine. Wait a minute, Oren. You don't care? I mean, you're not gonna stop her? No, I'm not. As long as she is willing to face sin, all else is her concern. That is a summoner's privilege, as long as she journeys. But that's... Yeah. <laughs> Yuna, just one question. Can't you just talk to Maester Seymour? You got to marry him? Don't know. But I think it is the right thing to do. Yeah, she's not telling us something. Okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we could help somehow, some way. It's okay. I'll be fine. She says I'm sorry. He says it's fine. She's willing to face sin. She's privileged. I didn't understand. But somehow, I felt like I didn't belong. You don't but belong, if I didn't dude. Belong with them, I'd be stuck in Spira, alone. And being alone in that place, well, I didn't want to think about it. Next, we're going to Makalania Temple. Yuna can talk with Seymour there. We guardians will wait until they're done, and plan our next move. Understood. Yeah, it is understood. And there's a freaking chest on this side, but yeah, I'll just edit this one out. Anyways, where was I? Oh yeah, a chest. And we get an ether. Okay, can I get out of here without getting attacked again? Probably not, but here's another chest. And we get a remedy. Alright, let's keep moving here. We're almost out of here. And do we make it? And... Looks like Riku is about to be a little bit happier now. Alright then, let's talk to Oren. He must have something to tell us. You're worried about Yuna. Of course I'm worried about her. What is she thinking? The simplest answer would be... In exchange for agreeing to marry him, she hopes to negotiate with Seymour. Negotiate what? I wonder. Hmm. What? All by herself? She's strong, but Seymour is the better negotiator. Well then, why don't we do something about it? Yuna wants it this way. Huh. I just don't get it. Doesn't she trust us? On the contrary. She doesn't want us caught up in whatever it is she's planning. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. But that makes me worry even more. She could just tell us. That's the way she is. She's naive, 
serious to a fault, and doesn't ask for help. Hmm. <laughs> You're probably right. Yuna's easy to read. <laughs> yeah, she is. But hard to guard. Stand by her. Always. We'll do, Orin. We'll do. funny how calm I was. Maybe it was because I'd realized that Yuna wasn't marrying Seymour for love. Not really. It was just her duty. Something she had to do before returning to her pilgrimage. That's what I kept telling myself anyway. Right. And, well, maybe. I realized that Yuna and I'd never, you know. Yuna, let's go. All right then. We are in the Makalania Forest. Another one of my favorite areas in this game. In fact, I really don't have an area that I don't like in this game. Now that I'm thinking about it. Well anyways, as long as I think I have a few minutes here, I might as well go over the abilities that I have now. Uh, yeah, I do have Histaga with uh, Titus. I finally got it. Um, Yep, you, it'll be useful until I get auto haste on armor later in the game, so yeah, that'll be nice for now. Uh, with Riku, yeah, I got her the mug ability. I'll probably never use it, but it's there. It might be useful for another character later on once I get some uh, skill spheres. Uh, see with Orin, oh yeah, I got the uh, the four major breaks here. Power break, magic break, mental break, and armor break. Armor break is going to be essential for taking down a certain fiend later on in the game and of course you probably saw me uh, get the threaten ability when I was upgrading them earlier and then of course I, I have guard which is freaking awesome if you don't use guard with Orin well you're missing out and then with Yuna here yeah I got some some pretty decent spells that I didn't have before I got the shell spell protect reflect the spell all very useful spells well, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm going to try and use these spells a little bit more, but most of the time, I usually have, like, armor or something that kind of helps with that thing, like auto-protect or auto-shell. Reflect might be useful in some situations. Dispel is good in case uh, the enemy likes to buff themselves, obviously. That, that'll be useful there. Um, yeah, with Lulu. <laughs> with Lulu, I have the Demi and the Bio spells along with the Agas. I just got the Agas right before getting to this place so uh yeah yeah I haven't even used them yet but I might make use of them in this place coming up because uh yeah the enemies are a little bit stronger here and with Kamari well nothing nothing too new here got him a few thief abilities uh yeah a few medic abilities he's got kind of a mismatch between a medic and a thief so there you go and with Waka yeah, I got the Drain and the Osmo spells with him. Um, not so much because I'm going to use them all that much. I mean, I might use Osmos. But uh, when I get Black Magic Spheres later on in the game, I'll be able to teach other characters Black Magic spells that I activate on the Sphere Grid. And if Waka knows Osmos, right now he's the only character that does, I can actually activate that node with a different character. Most likely Lulu because, well, she's a mage. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it and that's all for this episode of let's play final fantasy 10 this is veteran 0121 and i'll see you next time